Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the ukulele. In this video I'm using my piece fretted instrument, the DV1 ukulele, celebrating its 10th year of me using it live on stage and in these videos of course. Peace fret instrument is made by a local luthier here in Blackpool. You've seen my mandolin videos, I am using a peace fretted instrument's mandolin as well. But this video, we're on ukulele. In this video we are covering George Formby's strumming technique when he was singing. So, it doesn't matter what tuning you have, ADF sharp B, G, C, E, A, or what chord you are using, this video is all about the right hand. So, let's get started. When George Formby was singing, he would pretty much keep it basic. I am going to use my first finger and thumb for this, but I think George mainly used his thumb. But you use whichever one you find easiest. It's important you keep rhythm more than follow exactly what I do. These are techniques that you can apply to your own playing. So, if he was playing, he could play in quarter notes. One, two, three, four. So imagine one bar would be one, two, three. So he'd often strum like this. Just down with the thumb. There's no upstrokes on this, just downstrokes for now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So when he's doing a, a slow pace song, he strum like that. One, two, three. One bar. One bar would be four strums. One, two, three, four. One bar would be four strums. One, two, three, four. He would then occasionally double time it. One and two and three and four and... Again, there's no upstrokes. I am simply going down on one and two and three and four and... One and two. You may not be able to pick my thumb up, it might look like a blur, but I'll slow it down now for you. So, they both last the same time, whether you're doing one, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four and... Both of them are in bars, one's in quarters, one's in eighths. So it's one, two, three, four, or one and two and three and four and... Maybe not best to film videos outside in black in October. Windy weather as they say. Let's get started though. So basically one and two and three and four and last the same time as one, two, three, four. You're just putting an and in between the numbers, okay? So it'd be like this one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and so if you were singing the slowish song, George Formby would do one, two, you know, he wouldn't do this, that's the sort of stuff. He did nothing fancy when he was singing. So, so one bar would be, one bar before strums. If it was the eighth, one and two and three and four and, just strumming down, there are no upstrokes, just downstrokes with the thumb. And that's the basics of the strumming technique. Now, occasionally he would use his first finger. Again, we are using the nail of the first finger to go down. There are no upstrokes, just downstrokes. And again, same thing. One, two, three, four. One and two. So again, quarter, quarter notes. One bar would be one, two. In eights, one and two and three and four and... Like I said, it may look like I'm strumming up, I am not. I am simply strumming down on all beats. And basically, you're trying to create like a driving beat. And that's the basics of his strumming while singing technique. Now, there is another one we can try, which is this. On the eights, on the and of four, he would occasionally strum up like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... Occasionally. 
occasionally. Very occasionally. Like I said, very occasionally he would strum up at the end of four. So it'd be like this on downstrokes on the one and two and three and four and. On the and, I'm strumming up with the pad of my first finger. One and two and three and four and. At speed. Again, all that is, is down on the one, and two, and three, and four, and up on the and. One, and two, and three, and four, and. One, and two, and three, and four, and. So one bar. One bar will be one and two and three and four and one bar. And that's the main techniques George Formby used. Now, which one he used on which song, I couldn't possibly say because I can't cover. Is it 228 songs he recorded? I couldn't cover them all. But basically, if it's a slow paced song, like Leaning on a Lamp, he's probably doing that one, you know starts off slow and when it picks up space so in leaning on a lamp he probably starts off on quarter note strums and when it starts to pick up he'll slip into eight so you can use it with your first finger if you wish one two three four one then. so again most of the time George Formby is just strumming down towards the ground only occasionally on the last and of the bar, one and two and three and four and. If we do it with his thumb, one and two and three and four and. In that case, the thumb is going down on the one and two and three and four and the nail of the thumb comes up on the and. At slow speed, one. Finger. One and two and three and four and. Okay, so that's the sort of singing he did while, sorry, that's the strum George Formby used when singing. If he's starting slow paced, he's probably doing quarter notes like that. Then when the song picks up, he'll slip into waves. He didn't do much more than that. He very rarely swung it like that. Well, you can do his songs in that style if you wish, but George probably never did much swinging like that. Swingy type strums. He was nearly always quarter notes or eighth notes, and 99% of the time strumming down towards the ground. A bit like the Ramones, I don't think they played an upstroke in the whole of their career. There's a link. George formed the and the Ramones mentioned in one video that must be a first surely so anyway I hope you found this video useful if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Blackpool Music School for more videos the more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers we get the more videos we will post so until next time take care keep practicing keep playing and after three one two three goodbye <laughs>